Hello viewers and YouTubers. Well today um, I'm doing a book review but um, I'm going to stop a little bit into it and uh, do something else as well. So it's a little bit of everything today. Right, well this book, view, book review is to do with an e-book, an arc that I read. First of all, oh, you sh I will show you the uh, book cover. Celiac Mum, and it's by Anne Campanella. And this is a memoir. And it also, the genre comes under um, health and parenting. Um, okay, this is what... My thoughts were, firstly I want to thank Anne Campanella for gifting me the e arc of Celiac Mum in exchange for an honest review. The paperback is now available on Amazon.com and I was given the e-book and if you might want to pause while you get yourself a pen as the release date is the 19th of September 2020. This is the first time I've read about a family who are dealing with celiac. Yes, I knew what the word meant, but not actually to what extent it can do to you, physically and emotionally. Anne's life consists of being a mother to her very precious daughter, Sydney. We, as readers, are introduced to touches of Anne's life with the newly born, and Anne explains through those period of years the symptoms and tests that Sydney had to go through. Sydney was then diagnosed with celiac at the age of five. We then get sneak peeks of what the family goes through after Sydney turns five, right up to her teens, managing and muddling the throes of school camps, a disastrous prom night, and the shaky start to college at the beginning of 2020. With Anne being a horsewoman, I was so pleased to see Anne's horses from Motherhood Lost and Found, Anne's other memoir about her mother having Alzheimer's, feature in Celiac Mum. Of course, they were an important part of Sydney's life, as she loves horses as much as her mum does, and we travel with Sydney on the back of her horse. Sydney must have a natural gift when it comes to horses, as in the book we hold on to our seats as Sydney lands herself in what could have been a dangerous situation. This is told in a story form, a comfy memoir that's not too full of medical terms, there are some, but then again, easy to read for young mums and like-minded sufferers. Not only is this a memoir written by Anne, but written also on behalf of Sydney, who had to go through such a varied, strange mixed set, set of emotions, especially not knowing the cause. I could imagine it would be quite horrific for her to go through. I found this book very informative. I was extremely interested in how Anne, being the loving mother that she is, was determined to keep her little girl healthy. Considering and Anne admits in her book, she was a non-cook, so Anne was equally challenged to rise to the task. At the end of the book, there are some very easy recipes to try. 14 days of gluten-free meals is what Anne calls it. 
uh, which even admittedly to me, being a non-adventurous cook, I was very enthusiastic to read and hopefully I will try some at some point in time. The recipes are easy and even those who aren't gluten free like myself can adapt these accordingly. Also included is a gluten free shopping list and I was absolutely pleased to see that Yoplait yogurt and M&M's plain and peanut both my favourites are actually gluten free and I didn't even know it. Okay, so we're taking a break at the moment, intermission from the book review and um, just letting you know that uh, my husband and I do eat Yo, Yo Play yogurt, which we have with our breakfast in the morning, three tablespoons full. And I didn't realise until I looked on, on here over the label when I was busy reading Anne's book that it does indeed say gluten free. Um, also, i tell you another um, little thing I do with, with this uh, sized yoghurt is once we're finished with it, I fill it up with soup and freeze the soup. Uh, one kg is perfect for two bowlfuls of soup, which is just enough for uh, my husband and I. Okay. Back to the book review. Quotes I enjoyed. They ordered plates overflowing with gluten delicacies, hamburgers with fluffy gluten rolls, French fries sautéed up in cross-contaminated oil, Ketchup with modified starch. Yikes! Chicken processed with wheat and grilled on a glutenly grill. Pasta made of curly bits of gluten. Sauces thickened with flour. I mean gluten. Our family was suddenly on the wrong side of the fence, outside of a world we had once been a part of and thoroughly enjoyed it. Now we watched as a parade of our favourite foods marched just under our drooling lips on a regular basis. Going gluten free helped me feel for the first time in my life that food was truly nourishing me rather than contributing to a general sense of malaise, and I began to feel free. With years of experience and research under my belt, I have begun the I, I have become the resident celiac expert in my home and among my community of friends. I gave this book five stars. Recommendation. This comes highly recommended by me and would suit any authors who are thinking of using a character that has celiac in their book as Anne has a tremendous amount of knowledge that she shares with us. To any parent out there that has children with celiac as you will know of the trial and tribulations that are being faced. To anyone who wants to just learn more about staying healthy and to expand their knowledge. Anyone and anyone who likes horses. Okay, that's the book review. Um, just recapping, uh, just in case you didn't have a pen handy. The name of the book is Celiac Mum by Anne Campanella. And I'll just give you the dates again. The paperback is now available on Amazon, but the ebook is released on the 19th of September 
2020. Okay then, well, that's enough from me now. Um, until next time, bye.